Did you know there are at least three different ways to get help with your Power Query formulas? I'll show you how. Let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go into the Power Query Editor window. And I'm doing that via Get Data Launch Power Query Editor. Now, the first method I'm going to show you, I think most people will be familiar with. Um, and to help me with that um, demo, I'm just going to create a little table of, of 10 rows. Um, one little tip, when I'm creating blank queries under new sources, other sources, there is blank query here. You can actually right click and add this gallery up to the toolbar. So it's just here ready to go whenever you need to click a create a blank query. Okay, so I'm going blank query, control shift plus to zoom in and equals one to 10. This is just gonna create me a nice little, uh, simple little table. I'm gonna convert it here to table. So that's a list of one to 10, convert to a table. The only reason I'm doing this is to help with the demo. And there's a little tip on the way. Okay, so the first way, you can go to add column and custom column, or if you're here, you can just click on that little drop down, add custom column. That's a little shortcut to go into the add column. This box, you cannot zoom in. So control shift plus does something really weird. So don't do that, okay. Right, so all you have to do is click on this, learn about Power Query formulas. So I can click on that link and something like this will open up. And then you can search in here for something like date.from, because that's the one I need help with. It's there and it comes up and there's some good help. Excellent. Okay, so that's method one, using the custom column hyperlink. So the next method, um, I'm gonna add another blank query. And you can simply type the formula into the formula bar. So if I do date dot from, okay, and sometimes IntelliSense works, sometimes it doesn't. Don't get caught by this, okay? If I click on this or press tab, it actually puts the date, date dot from in there. It is very annoying. Um, if you know a little hack to get that to work, then please leave it a note in the comments to help everyone. Okay, and if I press enter, there we go. We have a breakdown, an explanation of the entire formula with examples. That's pretty awesome. Okay, all inside Power Query. I don't have to jump off to some other, you know, web page or anything. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and the last method is the hash shared method. So here we go, put a hash in, shared, lowercase, very important. Okay, press enter. You then get a list of all the Power Query functions available. Here we go. And you turn it into a table by clicking in the top left corner. And now you have a searchable list. So if I go on here and I search for date.from, there it is. Maybe it's that one, so date.from. Narrows it down, I can click on this word function. And here's my explanation. So there you go, three different methods for getting help with your Power Query formulas. Hope you find that useful. Please leave me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and subscribe so you don't miss out next time. Okay, we will catch you later.